Welcome to Maths 123. In this question, we have to find all the factors of this given polynomial. We know the power of this polynomial is 3. So, this is a cubic polynomial. So, it means it has 3 factors. Let me write this polynomial as fx equal to 3x cubed plus 10x square plus x minus 6. So, in order to find all three factors of this cubic polynomial, we have to compare this polynomial with general cubic polynomial, which is ax cubed bx square plus cx plus d. If we compare this and this, we will get a is equal to 3, b is equal to 10, c is equal to 1 and d. The constant term is equal to negative 6. Now, we'll, what we will be do, we will find the factors of a which is 3 here and d which is 6, negative 6 here. So, all the factors of, uh, we know the factors of 3 are plus minus 1 and plus minus 3. Similarly, the factors of d, the constant term are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3 and plus minus 6. Now, let me combine the factors of a and d. So, I will get plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3 and plus minus 6. So, next step by trial method, we will find out the factor of, of this given cubic polynomial. So, first let me put x is equal to plus 1 from here. So, if I put this plus 1, so my fx means x is 1 here, f1 will become 3 plus 10 plus 1 negative is equal to 14 minus 6 which is equal to 8 and this is not equal to 0. So, it means by factor theorem this x minus 1 is not a factor of given cubic polynomial. So, similarly now I will put x is equal to negative 1. So, this cubic polynomial will become f negative 1 is equal to uh, this will become negative 3 plus 10 negative 1 and negative 6 which is equal to this is 10. If we add up all these negative integers I will get negative 10 and this is my plus 10. They will get cancelled with each other. So, I will get 0. So, I factor theorem. This x plus 1 is the factor of given polynomial. x plus 1 is the factor of fx. We have got one factor of the given polynomial. Now, we have to find another two factors. We can find out other factors of this fx by two methods. Let me discuss these two methods. First, I will discuss long division method method one as x plus one is a factor of given polynomial so if we divide this polynomial with x plus one we'll get remainder equal to zero in this method we'll divide the given cubic polynomial with x plus one let's see how to divide so now i'll write like this 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 inside this division side and outside i will write x plus one. So, for division, first we have to take some steps. First step is we have to divide 3x cubed, the first term of the cubic polynomial with the first term of my divisor, which is x. So, I will get here 3x square. Now, I will write this 3x square here. Second step, I will multiply this 3x square with the my divisor, which is x plus 1. And then after multiplying, I will get at 3x cube plus 3x square. So, I will write this 3x cube plus 3x square here. And third step is change the sign. So, here I have plus sign. So, this will become negative. Here I have plus. So, this will also become negative. They will get cancelled. So, I can subtract these two. So, this will become 10 minus 3 which I'll get 7x square. Oh. Again we have to repeat all these three steps. So first I have to divide this 7x square with x then I'll get 
7x and this 7x I will write here. Now what sign with 7x? Plus, so I'll write here plus 7x. The second step is I'll multiply this 7x with my divisor which is x plus 1. So I'll get 7x square plus 7x and this 7x square plus 7x I'll write here. And third step is change the sign. So I'll change the sign. I'll get here negative and here also I'll get negative. So they will get cancelled. And I can subtract these two. So this will become negative 6x. Negative 6 will come down. Again, we have to repeat all these three steps. The first step, I have to divide negative 6x with x. I'll get negative 6. Negative 6, I will write here. And second step is, I'll multiply this negative 6 6 with x plus 1 I'll get negative 6x negative 6 so I'll write this negative 6x and negative 6 here and third step is change the sign so here I'll get here I have negative sign I'll get plus here negative here also I'll get plus so they will get cancelled so I'll get 0 over here therefore I can write my cubic polynomial as fx is equal to 3x cubed plus 10x square plus x minus 6 equal to the multiplication of this and this means x plus 1 and 3x square plus 7x minus step 3 we can do with another method also method 2 that is called synthetic division method and the synthetic division method is very important for competitive exams point of view. So for that, first thing, we have to write all the coefficients like this. The coefficient of x cube. Then we have to write the coefficient of x square which is 10. Then the coefficient of x which is 1. And the constant term which is negative 6. After that, at this point we know that x plus 1 is a factor of the given polynomial. So, or we can say x is equal to minus 1 is the solution of this given polynomial. So, here I will write negative 1. After that, I'll take this 3 down and then I will multiply this negative 1 with 3. I'll get negative 3 and I'll write this negative 3 here. After that, I have to add means 10 uh, this is negative sign so i have to subtract so i'll get 7 so next step is i have to multiply this negative 1 with 7 i'll get negative 7 so i'll write here negative 7 again i have to add up so this is negative and this is 1 so i'll get negative 6 next i'll multiply this negative 1 with negative 6 so i'll get plus 6 so i'll write here Six only so what is minus 6 and plus 6 0 and this should be 0 and from here I'll get a quadratic equation and that will be 3 with this I'll write 3x square and this is 7x and this is my constant term. now I can write my fx as x plus 1 into 3x square plus 7x minus but with long division method also we got the same effect. It means we can do the step 3 in two ways with the long division method or with synthetic division method. So step 4 is same for both the methods. So step 4 here, step 4 is so we know now I have found out that my fx is equal to x plus 1 and 3x square plus 7x minus 6. So now I will solve this quadratic equation. We can use quadratic formula here. We can use midterm split method. I'm going to use midterm split method. So I can write this as x plus 1 as it is. And here first if I multiply this 3 with negative 6 I'll get negative 18 so prime factors of 18 are 2 3 and 3 so here I want 7 how can I get that it means I can write 9 and negative 2 if we if I add these two number I'll get 7 and if I multiply these two numbers I'll get negative 18 so I can split this 7x as 9x minus 2x so I can write here as 3x squared plus 9x minus 2x minus 6. So, this is equal to x plus 1. From these two, I can take 3x out. Inside, I will be left with x 
plus 3 and from here I can take out negative 2 inside I will be left with x plus 3 this is equal to x plus 1 and from here I'll get 3x minus 2 and x plus 3 so I'll get x plus 1 3x minus 2 x plus 3 so the factors of given big polynomial are x plus 1 3x minus 2 and x plus 3 if you like the video please give thumbs up do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and hit the bell icon for further notifications thank you